Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we're having a bit of fun today. I've got a hero section here and we're going to turn it into a sort of 3D parallax type thing. If I scroll down the page here now, you'll see things start to move around. <laughs> That's a quite little eye-catching effect. Now this is really easy to do with the Divi theme. We're not going to use any coding to do this today. We're just using the inbuilt scroll feature of the Divi theme itself. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. And let's go down and we'll just delete this little section right here. And we'll start again. I'll put a new section in. A little button for a new section. I'll make it a regular section. Inside it, initially, I'm going to use two columns for our first two images that I'm going to put in there. I'm just going to close that and drag this section up to the top. There we go. So we've got a section, the blue tab, with a row in it with two little columns for the images we're going to put in there. Well, I'm going to put a little background in our section. I'm going to go into the blue tab. I'm going to go to background. I'm going to add an image. And I've got a sort of backdrop of stars or space or something like that there. There it is. I'm going to use a parallax effect on this. So I'll use true parallax. And what that'll do is make it move slightly when we scroll up and down. I know you can't see a whole lot of it there, but you should be able to see it slightly moving there, which is great. But I'm also going to make this section the full height of whatever screen it's being viewed on. And to do that, I'm going to go to Design. I'm going to go to Sizing. I'm going to roll down to Height. And in Height, I'm going to put 100 VH, 100 viewable height. 100% of the viewable height of whatever device they're looking at it on, whether it be a phone, a tablet, or a desktop. There we go. Okay, now the next thing I want to do while we're in the section, what's going to happen here, I'm going to have a few different modules going on here. I'm going to have an image here that's going to grow and sort of go down here and another image over here that's going to sort of grow when we scroll down and come down here. But I don't want things spilling out under our section here, so I don't want the images popping down here and being visible once they leave our section. And that's called overflow when things do like that. So I'm going to go over to my advanced tab, still in the section. I'm going to go down to visibility and here we'll find horizontal and vertical overflow. I'm going to switch both of these to hidden. It's pretty important you do this or else when we start moving the images around, like I say, they're going to spill over into our sections below. If that's the effect you want, well, fine, leave it as it is. OK, well, let's just save this and let's add a couple of images. OK, I've got an image of the Earth. So I'm just going to add a regular image module. Divi comes as standard with all these modules. Plenty enough to build any sort of site. When you install WooCommerce, it'll give you another dozen also to display your products with. So I'm going to click on the image field here. There's my little picture of the Earth. Boom, there it is. OK, this is really where the fun starts. This is where I'm going to start manipulating and moving these things around. So let's go over to our advanced. I'm going to go down to scroll effects right at the bottom here. And this is common to most modules. Under the advanced tab, you'll find this. And we've got vertical motion, which is going to move it up and down. So I'm going to enable the vertical move motion. Let's kind of put it where we want it. Let's put a six in the middle and see what happens. I think that's what I used before. Yeah, that's moved it down the bottom. That's fine. And I think I started off at about three. Play with these and you get some great effects. And then a negative three on this side. And as you can see, our planet's down there. But as we scroll up, it's moving up slightly. That's great. But I want it to go left and right also. So I'm going to use the horizontal to create some left and right. Hit the switch to turn it on. And 
do the middle one first. I tend to do this because it lets me know where it's going to end up when it's in the middle of the screen. I'm going to say minus five, I think is what I used before. It should be down a little bit when we scroll. Now let's, there it is in the corner there. And let's say minus 10 to start off with. So it's nicely down there. And then let's end up at zero, which is the original position at the top. So it's going to scroll down, it's going to start there, and when we scroll down, it's going to come up to about there. That's pretty cool. But I'd actually like it to sort of scale as it's doing that. And scale means grow or shrink if you have a negative value. So let's move along. We've got fade. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use the scale, which is the one to make it grow or shrink. And again, in our scale down at the bottom here, I'm going to put it middle one to about 300% just type in the 300 and he'll put in the percent for you and as you can see it's growing now when it moves and that's quite a nice little effect but I kind of want it to start off at 100% I'm going to type in 100 it'll put in the percent for you and when it ends I want it to be about 100 so that's fine right there so it's going to start off large and when you scroll down it's going to sort of do that Okay, yeah, that kind of works for me right there. Let's add another image and we'll have a bit more fun. I'm going to add a little astronaut chat today. I'm going to go down, get another image module and let's pop a little astronaut in there. There he is. I mean, that looks quite cool just like that, but let's have this fella move around a little bit too. So again, let's go with the advanced. I'm going to go down to scroll effects once again. Let's move this out of the way so we can see what we're doing. Vertical. Well, I kind of want him to start out where he is, so I'm going to enable the vertical again. Let's try, I'm going to put a two in the middle there. See where that offsets it to. Yeah, that's fine. And I'm going to zero out the bottom. I'm going to put a zero there. That's okay. And let's end up, let's try eight, I think is what I used before. So when we're scrolling, that's right, he's going to move down to the bottom of the page. That would be nice if he moved a little left and right as well, or horizontally. So let's hit the horizontal and again, enable the horizontal motion. I'm going pretty quickly. If you spend a bit of time on this and think about what you're doing beforehand, you can get some amazing effects. Okay, for the horizontal mo motion, don't want too much initially. Let's try, I think I used the three before in the middle. Yep, that moves him over there. And let's start off at zero and end on zero again. So we should have some vertical there we go and horizontal motion so he's coming in sort of in front of the planet there if you will great and again let's scale him up so it looks like perhaps he's coming towards us as well as going left and right there so again i don't want to use fade for this i'll use scaling switch the switch to on and i think i really want it to end up large and start off about the same. So I'm going to have 100 and 100 and perhaps 300. So there's 100. And again, it'll put the percent in for you. There's 100. And I'm going to make this last one top viewport 300. Now let's try it. There we go. He's sort of coming in towards us as the planet's disappearing away from us. And that's a nice little effect. OK, well, that, that, that's that bit done. So let's save our changes here. Now, as it's a sort of hero section, we really want to uh, have something clickable or some kind of way of directing our visitors to wherever it is you want to direct them. So let's add a new row. Hit the little green button to add a new row. I'm going to use a single column for this. And I'm simply going to use a call to action module. Not going to spend too much styling this. here is fine obviously put your content in there if you want to link it obviously we want to link a button 
Um, you may have noticed there's no button there at the moment. That's because we've not put a link in. Call to Action has a button built in by default. As soon as you put a link in the button URL, or just use a hashtag, you'll see the button turn up there. And always best practice, if you're linking to your own site, leave it in the window. If you're linking off site to somebody else's site, open it in a new tab so your site stays open. Great, well that's the button. If you want the whole module, this whole sort of light bluey green section there to link somewhere, you can put a link in there, same best practice. Okay, well I don't want any background. And I'm kind of going to leave it as the generic type button right there. Obviously you can style your button however you wish by going to design, hit the button, custom styles, and you can sort out your own custom styles there. Okay, well, I want this part right here to be pretty much central at all times. So to do that, I'm actually going to save this and I'm going to go into the row that it's sitting in. We were in the module then. I'm going to go back into the row, the green tab here. I'm going to roll over to the advanced settings here. I'm going to go down to position. And I'm going to change it from relative to absolute, which will, we can position it within its parent container. And the parent container is the container it's sitting in, for anybody that doesn't know, which would be the section blue tab up there okay so let's flip that to absolute it's jumped up to the top left I want mine right smack in the middle there haha <laughs> and it's disappeared behind our planet that's not a problem in fact that could be a nice effect if you wanted it but I don't I actually want mine to be on top of everything else had I put it on top of this row it would have automatically been like that well, we can fix this by changing the Z index or Z index. If you look down below, there it is right there in our positioning. And what the Z index does, if you have one element with a Z index of zero and another element with a Z index of one or higher, the one with the higher number will always appear on top of the one with the lower number. So let's flip this up until it pops in front of that planet. And you can slide, you can type in a value. That seems to work right there roll it up make sure it's gonna work still okay and let's just check it on responsive devices there's no reason this shouldn't work the images are gonna sort of roll slightly different looking but it should still work so let's have a quick look and we can do that common to most Divi modules if you hover over the dark writing there you'll see these little icons appear if there's a little mobile phone type icon click on it and we can look at it on a desktop and we can look at it on a tablet there it is on a tablet yeah that's gonna work gets a little bit lost in the in the planet there you always put a bit of a dark background in if you wanted to have that stand out a little bit more but that works fine and let's have a look on mobile and again I think that works fine like I say, if you wanted it to stand out a little bit better, what we could do is go to our content here. We'll go to the background. And again, we'll hit that little mobile device right here. We're looking at it on cell phone here. So you could just add a background color if you wanted to, put a black in there. Click on the field and take the opacity down. Opacity is transparency or see-throughness. So you can see a bit of the planet, but you can still read that writing nicely. But for me, I'm gonna leave mine just as it is. And you could do, you wanna do exactly the same thing for the tablet if it's getting lost behind that planet also. So again, black seems to work really well for this sort of thing. You can use any color you want. So we've got something like that, whereas the writing stays very visible at all time. Then on the desktop mode, I don't want any background whatsoever. That's fine. So let's save our changes. Before I disappear out of here, you may notice when you start positioning elements with absolute positioning and also using sort of horizontal motion and things like that, they'll jump around a little bit when you're, when you're on them. If you have a problem and you can't get to whatever it is you're trying to manipulate, hit the little purple button down here you can go to wireframe mode right here 
which takes you to the back end, which used to be the way that you'd build sites with Divi on two and three for sure. And you can get into all your modules that way. So let's flip back. And I want to roll down just to make sure. Looks like that's spilling over there, but I think that's just because we've got the builder enabled. So make sure everything's saved. And let's exit the visual builder. And take a look. Here's our initial section. When we start scrolling down the page, we've got this sort of 3D effect going on. And that's quite interesting. You see this a bit on sites nowadays. It seems to be quite fashionable. Really easy to do. Like I say, no coding involved with this. And this is a nice little feature. And just to make sure, I'm using Google Chrome here. Let's use the inspector tools. I'm going to hit F12. And let's take a look at it. Here's on an iPad. Let's make it big enough so we can see it. Roll this down out the way of it. Here's how it's going to look on an iPad. And as you can see, we've still got those emotion effects going on. You could actually adjust the positions of the astronaut and the planet if you wanted to for each device. Let's take a look on an iPhone or a cell phone. Or I'm not sponsored by Apple. Just happens to be the way the Chrome has it there. Yeah, that works. We've got our little fella popping into the right down the bottom there and the planet popping in and our little parallax bit going on on the bottom there. Great. So there you go guys, that is how to create 3D type parallax hero section using the Divi theme. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.